Chrome 62 makes the Network Information API more useful by providing actual performance metrics instead of theoretical results. Support for open type variable fonts has landed. You can capture media streams from HTML media elements. And I've got a special reminder about an important change that's landing in Chrome 62 at the end of this video, so be sure to stick around. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 62. The Network Information API has been available in Chrome for a while, but it only provides theoretical network speeds given the user's connection. Imagine you're on Wi-Fi, but connected to a cellular hotspot that only has 2G speeds. The API would report Wi-Fi. In Chrome 62, the API has been expanded to provide actual network performance metrics from the client. Using these network quality signals, you can tailor content to the network. For example, on very slow connections, you could improve page load performance by serving a reduced version. To simplify your application logic, the API returns the measured network performance in terms of how it would compare to a cellular connection. For example, connected to a super fast fiber connection, the API would report 4G. These signals will also be available as HTTP request headers and enabled via client hints. Check out the sample link below and have a look at the spec to dive deeper. Traditionally, one font contained only a single instance of a font family, for example, one weight or one stretch. If you wanted regular, bold, and italic, you'd need to include three separate fonts, increasing the weight of your page. An open type variable font is the equivalent of multiple individual fonts that can be compactly packaged within a single font file. By adjusting certain CSS properties, stretch, style, weight, and more can easily be adjusted, providing an infinite number of stylistic variations. Those three fonts can now be combined into a single compact file. Open type variable fonts gives us a powerful new tool to create responsive typography and reduce our page weight. You can now live capture content into a media stream directly from an HTML media element like audio and video with the media capture from DOM Elements API. After invoking capture stream on an HTML media element, the streamed content can then be manipulated, processed, sent remotely, or recorded. Imagine using web audio to create your own equalizer or vocoder, or stream the content to a remote site using WebRTC. The possibilities are almost endless. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 62 for developers. Of course, there's plenty more. The Payment Request API is now available on Chrome for iOS. You can start building experimental, rich VR experiences with the WebVR Origin trial. Oh, and one more. As we announced previously, starting in Chrome 62, when a user enters data on an HTTP page, Chrome will mark the page as not secure with a label in the address bar. This label will also be shown in all incognito windows for all HTTP pages. Check the description for full details. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the description below. And be sure to check out the latest new in Chrome DevTools video for all the new stuff in Chrome DevTools. Then click the subscribe button and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 63 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.